kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so guys, this will be the part 7 of my video series on group chatting app using Firebase in Android Studio. Alright guys, so in this video we will start working on the registering the user. So let's get started. So first of all, basically we will get the values from the user like his email and password and the name and then we will try to register him using the firebase authentication and after that we will put the values inside the real-time firebase database so here you can see we have the register activity and here we can see here we have this register activity here and also i forgot to change the text from the login to register and so all right so here we have this these two things and inside this register user uh, okay so first of all uh, we can initialize the firebase database reference so we can first of all can see a database reference and then we can say also we need the firebase out so we can say firebase out and let me see where uh, here i also initialized the firebase database reference but i think i don't need this reference inside my main activity okay so i will see it later so here we can first of all initialize the firebase auth so we can say auth equal to firebase auth dot get instance so after we get the firebase instance so we can also get the reference so we can say reference equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and we can set it to users and also i think i need to remove this because we don't need this thing okay then here inside our register mm, okay so we have first of all binded the views then we use the uh, we have initialized our firebase out and the reference so now here we have the method for the register user so first of all just copy that and inside this button we can use the on click event and we can paste it here and then inside this method we need to write the code for the registering of the user so first of all we need to use progress part dot set visibility and we need to visible it so we can say view dot visible and then we need to get the name first of all we can say first of all final string name or first of all it will be email equal to and we can get text email dot get text dot to string then we can say final string password equal to text password dot get text dot to string also i forgot to add another text input edit text and that will be text name and let's let me see where is the text name i have okay so here we need to uh, okay so here it is name ed register so we can just we can say text name equal to text input edit text find view by id r dot id dot name ed register all right and from here we can finally get final string name equal to text name dot get text dot to string and after that we can say and here we can check if email dot equals empty if the email is not empty and the password is not empty and the length of the password is greater than 6 so we can say out dot create user with email and password and then here we need to uh, write our email and the password and we can say use the add on complete listener 
So here inside this listener we can check if the task is successful. So we can now uh, insert values in database okay so now we need to insert the values inside this database so first of all we need to get the firebase user so we can say firebase user and we name it as firebase user equal to auth dot get current user and after that we need to create the user class so for the model class we need to create here a package name and let's set the package to models and inside this models class we need to have a java class and name it as user and for this user we can have string uid then we will have string name and email then we need to have a, an empty constructor for the user this is requ uh, required in our firebase so here we can now have um, the getter and the setter so we can say generate getter and setter for all the three values then we can have the two string and instead of this super dot two string we can return the user and we can say uid equal to plus uid then we can say plus and then we can uh, say this name equal to plus and then we can say similarly for the email And instead of this we need to use this kind uh, this bracket and after that this plus we can say um, uh, we can enclose it and uh, here okay so after that we now here can uh, what we can do is first of all we can create the user object so we can say user u equal to new user and after that we can set the value so we can say user u dot set name and the name will be there so we can say u dot set email and we can pass the email then we can say u dot set user id and i think I, we don't need this user id so we can simply say reference dot child and here we can pass the firebase user dot get user id and we can say set value and here we can pass this u and then we can say add on complete listener u on complete listener and inside this on complete method what we can do we can check if the task is successful so we can first of all display the message user registered successfully and then we can hide the progress part so we can say progress part dot 
visibility view dot gone then we now need to open the our group chat activity so first of all we need to finish this activity and then we can say intent i equal to new intent and here we can first of all say register activity dot this and group chat activity dot class and finally we can start our activity okay and then inside if the user is not uh, i mean the values are not stored in the database so first of all we need to use the progress part dot set visibility and we need to make it gone and then print a message that user could not be created all right so guys that was it for the user registration i hope you have understood the concepts behind this firebase database and here we there is something remaining so first of all let me just and close it and here we need to have another method public void go to login and inside this we just need to print the i mean open the login activity so we can say intent uh, register activity dot this and main activity dot class and we can say start activity i and for the go to login we can just copy that and here inside here we can instead of this login we can say on click go to login so guys that was it for uh, today i hope you have understood and you are following me step by step if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye